Starship Troopers Terran Command is a real-time strategy game set in the universe of the Starship Troopers films. In this video, we will take a look at how to play Peace of Mind, one of the available scenarios in the demo. In this scenario, you start in command of Federation troops in this outpost at the center of the map. Your goal will be to recapture a series of mines vital to the Federation war effort on the planet. But first, you will need to get familiar with the game's fundamental mechanics. We will use them to repel the initial attack by the bugs. As an RTS, Starship Troopers Terran Command shares the basic commands with many other games in the genre. Select units by left-clicking on them. You can select multiple units by holding the left mouse button and dragging a box. You can add units to your existing selection if you hold down the Shift key while left-clicking. You can also select units by clicking on their icons in the bottom bar of your screen or by pressing Tab to cycle through them. When a unit is selected, you can give it orders. Right-click on a position to move it there. Choose the orientation of the selected units at arrival by keeping the right mouse button pressed and dragging in the direction you want them to face. Similarly, right-click on an enemy unit to attack it. There are several mechanics which set Starship Troopers Terran Command apart from other RTS games. You will need to learn them and take them into account in order to win the scenario. Every unit has a basic weapon with a range you can see by selecting the unit. Any obstacle between the unit and its target might break the line of fire, though. This includes your own units. Place a unit of rifle troopers in front of another, and they won't be able to shoot through each other. Just because you can see the enemy doesn't mean that your troops can shoot it. A red icon appears underneath the overhead icon of friendly units that aren't in a position to shoot the enemy from their current position. Terrain elevation plays a key role here. If a unit is on elevated terrain, they will be able to shoot over the heads of units on lower levels, so take that into consideration when deploying your forces. New mobile infantry units are dispatched from the Federation fleet in orbit and arrive via dropship at radio bases. There is a limitless supply of eager citizens-to-be to call on, but you can only deploy up to your supply limit. Gain supply by securing new bases and capturing supply drops. A successful commander is rewarded with war support from the Federation. This bonus resource is used to deploy special units like machine gun turrets and to unlock new unit types by constructing buildings like the command post, which allows the requisition of snipers. All units have special abilities. You can find them, after selecting a unit, in the bottom right section of your interface. If you want to use an ability, just click on it then select its target if it needs one. Units gain experience as they engage the bug menace. Each level earned will increase their effectiveness, and many are able to select a new special ability once they reach elite status. Qualasha is infested with arachnid nests and hives which will keep spawning enemies. In order to pacify the area, you will need to clear them out. Surface layers and nests can be pacified using the good old strategy of excessive force. Pound them with bullets and grenades until they crumble to dust. Bug hives are underground nests that need cunning and bravery to clean out. Engage the defenders of the hive to draw the forces into a fight. Then, once the defenders are depleted, Send in a squad of brave mobile infantry soldiers to collapse and seal the tunnel. Peace of Mine is a complex mission, and any successful strategy will require the player to balance both offense and defense. 
Your goal is to clear and reconquer mines spread across the map without losing your central base. Once you've fended off the initial bug assault and secured the first mine, use the war support awarded to build a tech building on the deployment pads in your base. Engineers can be really useful for defending your perimeter. Make use of their build turret ability so you can free up forces and deploy them elsewhere. But bear in mind that turrets cost war support and can overheat, so you'll need to strike a balance. Focus on clearing one mine after another and concentrate your forces during assaults. Once you've cleared an area around a mine, don't forget to clear the mine itself as well as any bug holes nearby. Take and hold radio bases with attached supply depots in order to increase your supply limit to deploy more units. Complete objectives to earn war support to deploy new tech buildings and more turrets. It is advisable to choose a variety of different unit types so that you'll be ready to face a multitude of different situations. Be aware that your units don't fire when they're on the move, and that bug attacks can stun and slow your soldiers. Use this knowledge to plan engagements and get the most out of your firepower.